for A, section 22. 7th of July, cars today, white combi van, just passing through. Carbon black BMW M5, Mr Q Lester, criminal investigation. Weather, didn't notice. Note, insurance companies tend to specialise. This was the Monday. The white van crossed the forecourt. Lester came right after it in his own car. He waved to us and we thought, there it goes. Minnie said, there you go. Job done. Painting by numbers, heading for, heading for London. Suddenly there was a terrible scream from upstairs. What's that? For some mad reason I thought it was something to do with the robbery. Like the police are coming through the window or something. Then the screen turned into shouting and throwing things. It was Marie. Something had upset her. What's going on? Nothing, said Minnie. Come on, let's get to school. And she more or less dragged me out tra- dragged me out of there and we ran to school. Normally when we get to school, me and Minnie go our separate ways. This day we stood next to each other all day, like we were both worried that one of us would give the game away. Minnie spent the whole day grinning. She was so chuffed that she'd finally become a master criminal. She was so happy. She hummed when she was doing her maths. Miss Stannard told her off and she just smiled, this Mona Lisa smile, like she was thinking, and they told the master criminal not to hum. When we got home, Lester's car was parked on the grass, just the far side of the, just the, far side of the mountain gate. He'd just got back from London. He looked as though he'd driven non-stop. Even though the BMW has ergonomic seats and excellent cruise control for longer journeys, he still looked tired. Stay calm, I said to Minnie. He must know now that it's gone, but he can't possibly suspect us. Lester said, right then, where is it? I said, where is what? I've said nothing to your mother because I have no wish to add to her troubles. Just return the painting immediately and we'll say no more about it. He was looking straight at me, but I couldn't look at him. Minnie said, we were hoping for a reward. Reward, said Lester. The reward will be that you won't go to jail. We're too young to go to jail. In that case, your mother and your friend Tom, they can go to jail. I gasped. No, listen, I said. It's all right, we... Minnie interrupted. Do the police know? I was there when they opened the box. I almost fainted. Luckily for you, I had the presence of mind to invent a story about a community arts project. So far, only I know. Give it back immediately and you may yet avoid a custodial sentence. I said, OK, thank you. And I was just going to go and get it. Only Minnie stopped me. It's hidden, she said. It's completely safe. But we'll need a bit of time. A bit of time you can have. Just a bit. Understand? Sure, said Minnie. So what are they going to do with the other picture? They're going to hang it for the week. Rocky Rollo, said Minnie. Cowabunga! Not cowabunga at all, said Lester. Just give back the painting. Do you have any idea how fragile it is? You've made your offer, said Minnie. We'll sleep on it. I've read about people's eyes in our room before, but I've never actually seen it till now. Lester's were little were like little razor blades of fury. He got back in his car, then he wound the window down and looked at me. Dylan, I want to apologise, he said, which was a bit weird, for overestimating you. I thought very highly of you. I was mistaken. I should never have shown you those paintings. I should never have shown anybody those paintings. Then he drove off. I said, how do you know it was us? All part of the plan, said Minnie. I suddenly thought, it's no good nicking the paint if no one knows it's nicked. So instead of putting sunflowers in, I put Anne Marie's collage in. That's why she was screaming this morning, because I'd taken her collage. What collage? She's made this collage, you know, like she did with Be Lovely, only different. And you swapped her collage for our sunflowers. Yeah, and now it's in the National Gallery. That'll cheer her up when she hears about it. Yeah, that'll make, that'll really make up for us going to jail. She said, can I borrow your pen? I passed her my pen and the one with Barry's number on it. The one with Barry's phone number on it. She took out Marie's phone and started dialing. Upstairs, Marie was still wailing. I followed him in and said, What are you doing? If your friend Lester won't play ball, I know someone who will. After all, it's the insurance company, not the gallery, that have to pay out if the painting's not found. It's the insurance company who've got the motivation to cough up. Hello? She got through. It's Minnie from the garage. We'd like to meet up and talk. We met them in the pavilion. They drove their XJ 4.2 straight onto the potential putting green and climbed out. Is this about the Mini? said Barry. Because we don't want to be messed around anymore, said Tone. This one, said Barry, pointing at me, told me his dad worked at Digomania. He left there days ago. No one's seen him since. So don't waste any more of our time. I was so surprised about the dad news that I forgot to be scared of them. Anyway, it was Minnie who was, really, who was the really scary one. She said, we don't care about the Mini. We're here about this. And she showed him the Polaroid of us in disguise holding up sunflowers. Barry looked at it closely. He seemed confused. Tom looked at it closely. He seemed even more confused. Tone looked at Barry, 
Barry looked at Tone. They both looked at me. And I looked at Minnie. That's Sunflowers by Vincent Van Gogh, said Minnie. Stolen from the gallery this weekend. We know where it is. We'll reveal its whereabouts in exchange for a handsome reward. Barry and Tone started looking at each other again. That's interesting, said Tone. But what's he got to do with us, said Barry. Well, if we don't hand it back, the insurance company will have to pay out £25 million. We'll be saving your company tens of millions. Do you want to make a deal? Not really, said Barry, because it's not our insurance company. It's a different insurance company. Insurance companies tend to specialise these days. We specialise in late night and rural garages, service stations, that kind of thing. Not national art collections. This is way out of our league, Minnie said. Oh, and that's when I remembered that, as well as being a master criminal, she was just a little girl. So, Barry and Tom were laughing. So you were going to try a little insurance scam of your own, were you? Just like your dad. Criminality is in your blood, isn't it? That was it for me. I turned and walked away. Minnie came with me. She was going to cry, then Barry called her back. I said, ignore him. But he said, listen, I could do something for you. Freelance type of thing. Yeah, we could do it freelance. There'll be reward when this gets out. We could take it off your hands, turn it in, split the money with you. What do you reckon? Minnie looked at looked like he'd asked if he was if she'd like an extra birthday. Is that a yes then? What shall we say? Seven thirty? They'll probably go to a mid six figure sum as sum as long as it's kept out of the papers. It affects the shares you see. If people here they have to make a big payout. If you can keep this secret, I can get you Ooh twenty grand? Twenty five, said Minnie. Done. And she handed him a Polaroid and said, That's on account. You can have the real one when we get the money. When we were clearing up that night, I said what if we get caught? Master art criminals don't get caught. Look at Vincenzo. They had to invent the whole science of fingerprinting just to catch him. Say that again. They only caught him by inventing fingerprinting. They caught him? Well, yeah, eventually. You never told me they caught him. No, I sort of skipped over that bit mentally. Oh, 